Good morning. Hey. How y'all doing? Anybody up this morning? Is anybody here? Hello, hello, hello. Y'all come on in. I was supposed to do this last night. And I didn't. Hi, Patty. Hi, Cindy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was supposed to really do this last night and I didn't get it done. We was out and about. Hey, Nadia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Christine. Hey, how y'all doing? Let me put my glasses on so I can see y'all. I was supposed to do this last night. Is everybody doing okay? Hi, Teresa. How I pronounce your name, Lithorak? I will mess it up. Not intentionally, but I'm not good with names. How y'all doing? Everybody okay this morning? I pray you are. I am. Man, I, you know, I'm just really uh, getting myself together this morning. Because, uh, mm. blessings to you. All is well. We went out with some sons and daughters. Okay, is is Tracia? Tracia? Okay, I'll try to keep it together. Hi, Evangelist J. Harris. I love you. Uh, you know what? I I, I, want, I said I was going to talk about uh, agape love yesterday because um, you know, I want to talk about it a little bit this morning, if y'all don't mind. Amen. And again, I'm just uh, really getting myself together. We had a time last night with uh, son and daughter. We, we spent all day with them. We, from 10... Yesterday morning, all the way up until like 12 midnight last night when we came home. Hey, Mara. Good morning, babe. Hey, my husband's on. Hi, prophetic task officer. How you doing? Listen, we, we, we chatted with them. We talked with them. We went to dinner. We, we did so much on yesterday with them. And I'm going to invite some of y'all in. I see who I can invite in. So y'all get ready. I just uh God wants me to do something a little bit different. So we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about God's love. And we're gonna have some fun this morning. I ain't gonna be on too too long. But if you're willing to come on with me, I'm gonna invite you. So, you know, you just plug on in and we're gonna we're gonna try to do this. Amen. And so uh we again, uh last night was so awesome. Isn't it wonderful when you can get with some folk that you can be you that you could go in that you could just have a good time you can laugh you can eat dinner that time about fellowship hi doris how you doing talking about good fellowship ain't no issues or no hiccups even if they're trying to even be any man see that's the kind of life that we love living glory to god you know we're gonna have some hiccups every now and then but man ain't nobody got time for that Ain't nobody got time for that, you know, and, and the thing about it is we're not here to change you. So, you know, we're just here to uh, make you better. So we, we love spending time with our sons and daughters and talking with them. We teach them and we just have a good time. Amen. Hey, Prophetess Rose, how you guys doing? And so we, we try to spend time with each and every one of them. Uh, may it be by phone because we got a lot of people that are uh, around the world. And so uh, that's we spent time with those that are here in Georgia on yesterday, at least one one couple. Man, listen, we we was leaving out and huh, I was still drunk. I don't know if y'all could tell. Anybody ever drank those of Jesus juice? That's what we was calling it. <laughs> that's what Apostle Byron calls it. He said, I got to get stop drinking all this Jesus juice. But man, listen, we so toe up and I'm not a sleeper, but baby, even the dreams was crazy when you in the grocery store and you shopping in your dreams. So, hey, let's, let's have some fun, man. Oh man. Oh man. So I'm a little drunk still from last night. Amen. And I pray that you feel the Holy Ghost that's resting on me this morning. Ah, shout out our side. We go, we go do some real talk this morning. Glory to God. And that might be what we're going to start calling this segment because I want to do it every now and then. God had told me to be uh, do it, uh, do something different besides lunch and the word. So let's 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 just call this real talk. 
Real Talk Morning or something. We'll figure it out. God will give it to us. Amen. So I'm going to invite some people in and we're going to talk. We want to talk about God's love because, see, I have an issue when people try to correct others and, and, and tell them that they're not loving folk. How you know? How you know? Or because we, we, we're not acting right. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Renika. How your baby's doing? Y'all okay? Good morning. I love you guys. I love you guys. So I'm going to be shouting out. You know, isn't it crazy when, when people interrupt your day and and saying you ain't doing stuff with in love? Yeah, can I just express myself this morning? And I always do. You know, let Raw just go on and speak. Just because you talk softly don't mean you loving nobody. Just because you raise your voice don't mean you don't love anybody. Mm. I'm doing good, Renika. Thank you. Just just because, you know, you, you got some clothes you want to give away, you need to give away, you can't fit no more, and you find somebody to get to, don't mean you loving them. All right. Okay, so ain't nobody going to like me this morning. But as fact is this, just be, uh, you know, even when it comes to humility, you know, humility, just because you talk it so and so, uh, soft and low, that don't make you humble. Because when you, baby, when you get away from around us, glory to God, you may be raising all kinds of saying, hey, you may be screaming and hollering and stuff. So I want to come against that, that, that spirit that think that they're running around here correcting folks. You don't have no right to correct nobody if you're not walking in it. You know, a lot of people want, uh, release these subliminal messages. Every time I turn around, I see something, especially on social media. If somebody's telling the truth, there's one uh, in the comment section. Oh, we need to do it in love. What is you talking about? You know what God's love is? It's agape love. You know what that means? It means unconditional that you will give truth. That's what it means. Hallelujah, Jesus. It don't mean that we should go and pat nobody on the back. Baby, let me tell you something. If you're going to give somebody some love, yeah, you may pat them on the back, but you got to give it to them the way God said give it to them. Amen. That's walking in truth. It's time for, oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost, y'all. We have got to start doing this thing the right way, the kingdom way, and stop letting these old false folks come in here and destroy us. It's time for them, these false fake people, uh, uh, manipulators, these control freaks, to come and manipulate people and making them feel bad that they're not doing the right thing. Can I just, can I just encourage you? If you're doing it the way God say do it, you're doing it right. See, because my way is not your way. Come on. When way God raised me up, he didn't raise you up the same way. I feel kind of naked. I, I, let me put some jewelry on my fingers. Mm. Y'all like this? Y'all, can y'all see this? Ain't that nice? This is going to be for the kingdom, my kingdom daughters. Amen. They're going to all get one. Amen. But can we, can we, can we just, you know, let us, let us just talk about this thing because, um, uh, we ain't, uh, we ain't, we ain't got to be like them. You don't have to be like me. I'm raw. I'm stirred. I'm, I was raised up to tell the unadulterated truth, but I'm just so sick of people faking it. Glory to God. And most ones are doing that, you know, making people feel bad. No, y'all, come on. Snap up out of this here thing because I'm sick of them. I'm sick of these fake, fake folks. I'm sick of them. You be you. Hey, baby. Hey, Ter Teresita. Hi, baby. Thank you, Nadia. Bless you, babe. Amen. I, I mean, well, come on. We we gotta we gotta be we gotta be. We it's time to be real. See, I don't know how y'all was uh, on the street, but when I was in the world, I couldn't stand bullies. I was a gang banger. But you know who we who we fought against? We fought against bullies. We had some pretty girls growing up in school, and every time I would turn around, the people would come and tell me, you know, they beat up so-and-so, so-and-so, and I would ask them why, and wouldn't nobody know why. 
And all of a sudden, me and some other girls came together. And, uh, baby, when the bullies would mess with somebody, we'd go mess with them. Okay, ain't nobody going to talk about that. Because, you know, yeah, it didn't take a gun. Took a few knives. But, you know, we'd whoop them. <laughs> we would whoop them. And so when I'm tired of people, see, you got bullies that have entered into the body of Christ. Yes, a lot of like Terry. Yep. And that, you know, we're, you know, just tired of it. You know, bullies have entered into the body of Christ and they trying to use God's word. That's what they, well, that's what they do. They manipulate God's word just like Satan. Amen. Just like Satan. Glory to God. And they will, uh, they tell you, you, you got to do this thing in love. Wait a minute. When we walking in God's love and we telling the people the truth, amen, people don't want correction. I know if I ain't doing something right, I'm okay with correction, but don't try to sneak and do it. Nah, I don't do that well. Why? Because I'm a woman. Amen. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a whole woman. I ain't scared, you know. And we just, we just, you know, enough is enough of that. You're not going to manipulate me to act like you. Okay. I, I just, I just, I just gave that devil a name. Manipulator. So I'm not getting ready to do that. I'm not going to be a copycat like you. I'm not going to copy off of you. Come on. It's time for us to be ourselves in the body of Christ. We've been had positions out here that we should have been taking. But here come another devil connecting a leech. Come on, connecting. Glory to God. And then they want us to be like them. And so they sin. They shoot them fiery darts. Devil, go sit down somewhere. Hey, Gary. Hey, son. How you doing this morning? I'm just, you know, man, I'm fed up with them. I'm fed up with them bullies, them control freaks. You don't even, because you talking low and cute. So, so, I can talk low and cute too. I, you know, I'm a bougie girl. I am. But baby, when I'm coming against Satan, I ain't got time to be talking low and cute. And no, I don't have to always holler either. But this is me. Wait, can you accept me? I accept you for you. God's word says love means doing what God has commanded us. And he has commanded us to love one another. Just as you heard from the beginning. Ooh. Just as you heard from the beginning. Love one another. You ain't loving nobody because you're trying to manipulate them. What you want? What is it that you want? Manipulators want something. And most likely, the number one thing is to control you. Nah, babe. Listen here. You could be the wisest person in the world. You could be Solomon. <laughs> you could be wisdom herself. But wisdom don't do that. See, the, you know, the body of Christ, I, I think that because we have been around so many different people and spirits and stuff, we forgot who we are and who God has called us to be, right? Come on, let us let me see if I can bring in a guest. Who want to talk with me? Come on. Somebody, I, I, you know, I ain't going to bust you out unless nobody want to talk. Who want to be a guest with me for a few minutes? And let's talk about this agape love. Let's talk about that it's time for people to be able to walk in what they call to walk in with all this manipulation. It's a difference when you have a mentor, a man, or, 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 or a spiritual parent, a man, and, they, and you need some things from them. Glory to God. Amen. So I got some people on here. Let me see if I can fix this without dropping the phone. Uh. Uh, I don't want to tag. I want to call you in. Uh, prophetess, uh, well, let me see if I can find you. Michelle Brooks, where you at, baby? I don't want to tag nobody. How you do this? I want to bring them in. I want to bring, woman of God, will you come in? Somebody, Terry, you want to come and talk with me? Come on. Let me see. I want to bring Terry in. Terry, come on. I think you have to answer it, Terry. Come on and talk to me. Talk with me. Hallelujah. 
We just, 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 we just having some real talk this morning. Hallelujah. This green icon is so I think uh so you should come pop in, babe. Hit it. Hallelujah. And let's see what happens. Cause I'm not seeing you. Oh, oh. <laughs> get dressed. Yeah, get dressed, y'all. Cause <laughs> that is too funny. You should get dressed. Hey, Amen. Cause I'm I, I feel you. Cause I had to get dressed too, put some clothes on. Cause honey, after last night it was a heyday, okay? Now, let's see what else. Who else? Who else? Hold on. Hold on. Nadia, can I bring you in to talk about it for a few minutes? Let's see. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Hallelujah. Come on, Nadia. Pick up your phone. Let's see. Child, I don't know about all this stuff. Ain't nobody dressed this morning. I know that feeling. Y'all better go on and get dressed, put you some makeup on or whatever you got to do. Yeah, most folks is in the natural anyway. Mm-hmm. And I got stuff to do, so. <laughs> Ain't nobody answering this morning. Man, y'all better cut it out. Don't play with the mother now. <laughs> but look, look. I don't know what that is. Let me see. Uh-oh, what I did. Oh boy. Oh, y'all be patient with me. I'm learning this stuff. Praise God. I'm learning. Oh, okay. Okay, Nicole. Okay. Well, we now y'all know from now on when y'all catch me in. When y'all catch me in, because I'm I'm a I am i do not know if mornings is gonna be good or not. But when y'all catch me in, hey amen. I'm gonna start pulling some people in and we just go we just gonna have a uh a, a real talk conversation. Glory to God. Amen. A raw conversation. Let's call it raw. I don't even know. But we're going to have a real conversation because we got to knock this devil upside the head and we're going to do it together. That's what kingdom does. We do it together. And, and, and so uh, 1 Corinthians 13 and 4 said, love is patient and kind. Love is not uh, jealous, boastful, or proud. Love is not none of them. See, and you got folks, oh, I love you. Then they talk about you like a dog. They go among their little buddies, they look, you know what I'm saying, and talk about you. That ain't God's love. Agape love say, I love you no matter what. I love you. Glory. Mm. I love you enough, hallelujah, to let you know that that sin is not right. That you're sinning and let's get it together, babe. And how you gonna get it together? You gonna get it together because I'm gonna pray for you. I'm gonna pull on you. Amen. I'm gonna teach you what you need because I'm gonna take you through some deliverance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Whatever you need for me to do, amen. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna talk about you behind your back. No, because otherwise, I, if I got to talk about you and dog you, I would not be bothered with you. I'd rather, I'd rather delete you out my, out my life. Yes, that's right, uh, uh, Emara Sharana. People don't understand pure love. I've had people, you know, have come, and me and my husband, and some family members, we talk about this all the time. People have come into our life because they know they need what you want, you know, but when they get there, they don't understand that this is real love. Why? Because we spend time with our children, because we talk to them, and their people are not used to that. And I just don't understand that. I'm sorry. How you going to be in somebody's life and they don't talk to you? How you going to be in somebody's life and they won't give you the time of day? I, I, I'm sorry. I, I just can't do that. You know, so love is not boastful. Love is not jealous. Man, I, ooh, ooh. Mm. am I talking too loud? Yeah, love when you disagree. That's right, Cindy. Hey, baby. That's right. You know, I don't have to agree with everything that you say. And then you don't have to agree with what I say. But one thing about us and the people that we deal with, they can speak their voice. They can say, why? I, I don't agree with that. Okay, Terry, you ready to be on the video? Hold on. Let's see. Proof. Let's see if it's coming in. Let's see if she's going to come in. Hallelujah. I like this, y'all. Let's see. It says adding, Terry. 
I'm just so, you know, uh oh, she's coming. There, Jim, there go my baby. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I had to hurry up and finish getting dressed. <laughs> I know, right? That's one of my things. You've been on a uh, uh, ten day consecration. Oh my God, I missed you, honey. Mm -hmm. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, y'all. Uh, Terry is here. Terry C, the prophet is Terry C, that is here with me, and I'm truly excited about that. Now, talk about. We're talking about agape love and how people, you know, they, every, the enemy twists everything. Don't she look good? She look absolutely fabulous. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, absolutely fabulous. Okay. And so we, you know, we're talking about agape love this morning because I'm telling you, if I get one more subliminal message, she ain't doing it in love. Baby, you don't know what I do because you don't know <laughs> what love is. So come on, baby, talk about it a little bit. Well, it's, you know, I think um, Amara, I, I'm, it sounds weird calling her Amara because I always call her Sharona, but I think she said it best. People don't understand what agape love is. And, you know, we kind of like throw that word love around mm. a lot, mm. a lot. And people don't understand really what that's all about because love is just more than just saying I love you. Um, it's an action word. Yeah. And, and people are not doing that, and they're not understanding that. And, you know, I kind of want to go back to what you were talking about, even with uh, being phony and being fake and bullying and, you know, yeah. all those things, you know, in the body of Christ. And people need to get that together and stop doing that. Yeah. Because that's not cute. And they're going to be held accountable for that. And, you know, and what I love about you and dad is, Y'all, like you said, y'all spend time with y'all kids. Y'all love on us. You know, y'all let us know that you're praying for us, that you're thinking about us. And, yeah. you know, yeah, many of us aren't used to that. And that's why, you know, yeah. I'm just so happy in my spirit because when things, you know, come full circle, it's just such a blessing. Yes. And that's where you can get your healing. Yeah. That's where you can get your deliverance. And you're big on that. Yeah. You're big on that. You know? Yes. So I... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just excited about this season, not just for myself, but so many of God's people. I'm really excited about it. A lot of people are going to be uh, coming out of their shell. A lot of people are going to be coming forward. Those that have been in the background, those that have been talked about, those that have been mishandled and mistreated, they're about to come to the forefront. Yes. I'm telling you. Yes. And those that, you know, that think they have it going on, God is about to show them a thing or two. Jesus, yes. I'm excited. <laughs> yes. You know, that's so funny because, uh, uh, you know, this is one of my children that we if we got like spirits for real. <laughs> We'd be ready to fight yes. for real. You know, it, it's all real. Amen. And that's what I love about her. And each, each one has their own different personality. Amen. And they all... They be, we, we, we pull on you to be who you are. Amen. Because, yes. you know, God has a melting pot. All of us can't be the same. Just like I was saying in the beginning, I don't need you to be like me. We're supposed to be Christ-like. Amen. Could you imagine Christ, the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, Jesus Christ. Could you imagine him walking around, la da dee La da da. Not every time a manipulating snake come up to him, the Pharisees, Sadducees, and them, every time they had something horrible to say, he always came back. He always came back sit with, with something. But the manipulators that have, have, have penetrated the body of Christ, that's what God gave me, they penetrated the body of Christ, and they told us we're supposed to keep our mouth shut. We should go in a corner somewhere, and that's not true. That's not true. Amen. That is not true. Praise God. Amen. Oh, thank praise God for me. Lawrence for me. Thank you. That's yeah. my cousin. That's my cousin, mother. Hey, how are you? God bless you. Amen. We're glad that you joined. Y'all share this video because we got to hit the devil upside his head and his amps. We got to do some squashing. You know, that's enough. If we're going to be all that we're called to be on this morning on 218, because that's enough. I'm tired of talking about, oh, this is my year and ain't moving nowhere. Oh, I'm tired exactly. of saying, oh, next year going to be my year. We are in a new year 
Come on. We are going to be what we have been called to be because these, these criminals, I ain't even going to call them criminals. These manipulators, because they ain't, they ain't no criminal. They just is what they are. <laughs> and, you know, they have slithered their way in, the snakes. They, the, the brood vipers have slithered their way into the body of Christ. And, man, and there has to be some separation of the wheat and tear right now. And my man, ah! has to be. Ooh. Has to be. Ooh. And it's about to be. Ooh. I'm telling you, the remnant, the remnant is rising. The remnant is rising. I'm telling you, the spirit, the problem is, here's another thing, because when you have manipulators that have been in action for so long, that have beat the people down for so long, there's been so many people with that spirit of fear, that yes. spirit of inadequacy, inadequacy, um, yes. and just feeling like they can't do it. Like, you know, manipulators will make people feel like they're this big. Yes. Make people feel really small and um, fearful. That spirit of fear has gripped and paralyzed so many people. But, oh, my God, people are breaking free from that spirit. Yes. And that spirit of intimidation. Yes. Oh. I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's about to be explosive. It's about to be explosive. I'm telling you, I those that have been counted out. Woo. And I, and listen, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep myself together, you know, because I got to I got to you know, go in a few minutes. But um, I'm telling you, it's about to be explosive. Those that have been deemed as nobody, mm. those that are unlearned. I'm telling you, the power of God is about to cause them to do some mighty things in the earth. Come on. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'm excited about it. Yes. I am so excited about it. I can't wait. I know. I can't wait. They're going to be like, well, where they come from? Ooh. Oh, they, oh, God been keeping them. God been keeping them. God been sustaining them. And God's been pouring and imparting and teaching and training them yep. for a time such as this. And this is what's so awesome. You know, I know uh, as prophets, they say they're getting ready. A lot of you have been poured out. So a lot of you need to come on and come forward in Jesus' name. A lot of you have got that right now word in your belly. And you need to find, and I hear the Lord saying this, you need to find your niche. And we go pray before we get off the off of here that you find your niche. Amen. Glory to God that you will come forward. See, that's one thing. You can't be no son or daughter. Amen. Of Apostle Dede and Apostle Ken. Hey, hey, Evangelist uh, uh, Shanice, I'm sorry I missed you. Can you. You can't be a son or daughter and you don't go forward. See, now I'm sorry. You Amen. can't be a part of this ministry or connected to, to me and my husband in some kind of manner and you don't go forward. I'm sorry. We don't have folks sitting on the bench. We, uh, you know, if you, oh, shake out. If you go into the church building and you sit on the back row, that's because you're sitting back there taking care of business. Ha! You ain't sitting back Come there on. Hiding. Come on. Huh? I've been on many back rows. Come on. Taking care of business. Come on. Observing. Being a watchman. Yes. Casting stuff out. Come on. Listen. Listen. People the people don't people don't want that though. They want to be traditional. They want to be religious. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying? They yeah. want to have that form of godliness but denying the power thereof. You better talk about That's why folk walking around bound. That's why folk walking around spiritually dead. They got religion down pat. Yes. But relationship nowhere. And guess what? But I'm telling you, it's in relationship you start to change. Ooh. It's in relationship you grow in the things of God. Come on. And people don't understand that. Let me tell you something. They be like, well, you don't know my relationship with the Lord. True. But I should see some evidence of it. Fruit, baby. I'm just saying. Fruit is more than a hallelujah. Anybody get hallelujah? You need to be bearing something. Good morning, Sandra. God bless you. Love you. You, you, you need to be bearing something. Hallelujah, some some type of fruit. You need to be doing something. But see, that intimidation and that manipulation, then you got these trick witches and warlocks. Oh, boy, did I come there? You know, tricking yeah. you and getting you. And, and Sharona, Emera talked about this on a video, getting you out of your wrong place, out of your... You know, you they tricking you into taking positions that God hasn't called or chose you for. Ooh, ooh. Yes, yes. Oh, my God. But let me tell you something God told me. 
prior to going into my time of consecration. And I was going to share this on the prayer line tonight, but I'm going to go ahead and um, say it now since okay. we're here. Okay. Um, that those, there are many that have gotten out of alignment, but God is pulling them back to a place of alignment. Yes, For their kingdom assignment. Many have ventured off. Yes. Went too far left, too far right. Oh, oh wait. My God. Go ahead. But God is bringing people back into alignment. Yes. Where they are synchronized with him. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's time. That's good. It's time. So, yes, people are about to come right back into alignment. Yes. I mean, I, I've seen a time, even in my walk, where I felt like it seemed like I was so far gone from God. Yes. And here we are today. Look at me. My God. My God. A powerhouse, somebody to reckon everybody. with. Hallelujah. Babe, Woo. I need help. I didn't did something to my um my screen. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, you know how mama do. I'll be messing up. Honey. Seriously. No, we not pop. <laughs> you keep talking, babe. Don't mind me. This is you know, um this here. Mm. <laughs> Look at him. But yeah, and, and say that again, because I, you know, trying to do this. Hallelujah. That's fine. There it is. That's fine. HTMI. I must have touched it when I was fixing the phone fail. This devil, he's just the devil is a hater. He makes yeah, me sick. Cares? That's why I do what I do. You know, yeah. God said love my enemies. <laughs> he said love the devil. And now he said, hey daddy. <laughs> but you know, this is the thing. When, when say that one more time, that last statement you made. Well, I just said that God is bringing people back into alignment. A lot of people have veered off. Yes. They have veered off. And like I said, there was a time where even in my walk, I felt so far away from God. I just, I couldn't hear him. I just wasn't getting in any direction, no clarity or revelation about mm -hmm. things. I just felt so off. And, you know, and now I'm at a place where, I'm closer to God than ever. And if he did it for me, surely he can do it for the next person. Yes, yes. He is no respecter of person. Yeah. And so I'm just excited. Like, I can't say that enough. Yes. If we just learn to submit yes. to God. Yes. Stop fighting. Part of my problem is I will fight because I'm a natural fighter. Yes. Fighting is what... I do so or did rather so it, it was hard for me um you know when you've been um independent mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all your life and you know kind of just trusting you and nobody else yes you know we sometimes put God in that same in that same box mm. but he's Good. very trustworthy yes, his yes. track record is perfect yes and so we have to learn to not put God in the same category as we put man, as we put people. We mess up every time. And so for me, because I was independent, it was really hard for me to yield to God the way I needed to yield to God. Oh, so that was causing such a hindrance, yes. such a blockage. Yes. And it caused me to be stagnant. And when you're stagnant, mm. you're, not, you're not doing anything. You'll, you'll get to a place, you'll start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Never completing anything. And you're not able to break through. Oh my God. But it's a new season. Yes. It's a new season. Yes. Not just for me. Yes. But for many of God's people. Yes. For many of the remnant. <sighs> for many of those that don't have a big name. <laughs> for those that don't have big platforms. It don't even matter. Because when God has his hand on your life and when it's time for you to come forward, trust and believe God is going to allow it to happen yes. in a way we least expect. So I decree and declare divine connections in this season. Yeah. We're not going to be wasting our time with people yeah, no that, that that's not assigned to our lives. Come on. We're, we're not going to waste time in this season. We, we've wasted too much time. Yes. We wasted too much time. So I'm decreeing and declaring now divine connections. Yes. Divine connections. Yes. Oh, my God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. That is so awesome. I thank you, my love. Oh, my God. You powerful woman of God. I just, you know, Woo. expect great things. 
Amen. If you're in the Virginia area, she's an awesome realtor. If you and you know, if you're looking for jewelry, look, get up with her. Hallelujah. It's time out for us doing kingdom business with outsiders. Uh, you know, sometimes we got to go to the world, and that's understandable. But a divine connection is dealing with other kingdom people. Amen. I'm talking about the true body, because you know we got a fake body going on. I'm talking about the true body, so that you can not only divine connect, but know that the, when you divinely connect, these people are going to make sure you're pushed in your season, that you're pushed yes. in completing a work. You, not, you should not be getting with folks that can't push you. You should not get with folks, glory to God, that can't assist you. If you are getting, if you are connected with folks that's just sucking, 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 baby, that means that they are leeches. That means that all, it's all about them. So in this hour, my God, my God, you have got to connect to the divine connection. I don't care what they look like. That's right. I don't care how they talk. But if God has told you to connect, that's because they got something you need, and you got something they need. It's a two-way thing. This is not a one-way. Kingdom is not one way. Kingdom is not okay. one mindset. And the only mindset it is would be Christ Jesus. So please, 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 glory to God. Get with those that God is telling you to. Baby, they call me wrong. God calls me wrong. Why? Because I'm not afraid to tell the truth. Amen. But right. I do, you do more than just tell the truth. Glory to God. Because with that truth, you got to be able to war. So, um, mm -hmm. I shall uh, you said something, Teresita. You said because you're a natural fighter. Come on. But you fought for That's others. Right. That's the natural thing about it. Y'all better. Yeah. Y'all better yeah. come on. Because we fight Yeah, for I others. fought on behalf of others in the natural. Yes. Now I do it in the spirit. Yes. Yes. And people don't understand that. Yes. No, they don't. They too busy trying to get themselves together, baby. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud. So does that mean, because I got the talk soft, baby, they ain't got nothing to do with that. So all them folks telling you, you should always talk soft and proper. Go to edit. Well, they tell me that. You should tell me that all the time. They should yeah. tell me that all the time. Not understanding that it's causing you to have a, like a false identity. Yes. Because now they want you to be something and someone that you're not. They want you to speak in a way that's just not you. Yes. I've never been, this is just me, I've never been dainty, okay? I've always been a tomboy. I've always, you know, this just, it was just who I was, okay? Now, because I'm, I'm, I'm new in Christ, there are some things that he's changed about me. Mm. But I, I'm, I'm still, listen, but I'm still going to tell you what it is. I still don't. Sugarcoat. I say things in love. I do. Unless I'm dealing with a demon. <laughs> Come on. Then you just, you know, you got to say it the way it needs to be said. Yes. Okay. However, people would give you a false, make you, you know, just be fake. Yes. They try to make you fake. Yes. And that just never sat well with me. Yes. I'm just, I'm not trying to be anybody but me. Be who you are. Don't allow yourself to feel like you have to compete with anybody, mm -mm. speak like somebody, dress like somebody, preach like somebody, prophesy like somebody, be you. Be authentically you. Pop said, embrace who you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've learned to do. Embrace who I am. And when people try to, you know, tell you that uh, you ain't got to be aggressive like that. You're not wanting to bomb. You're not this person. Not trying to be. But this is just who I am. This is who I am. But they don't understand those words tear people down. Yeah. They confuse people, you know? So. Not only learn. confuse them, not only confuse <laughs> them, but it sets them back. Because then, yes. there you go. You're set back in turmoil. Like, why? Why am I not like that? Now why am I? And God has already got you on the potter's wheel. Because he's the only one that can shape and mold you. Amen. Absolutely. And so people, Absolutely. what they do they set you back. They set you in a delay mode. And it's crazy. And then, you know what? Then this is where, because see, I have a strong voice too. Kelsey, we just, just, just so much alike. And it's like, yeah, okay, but God gave me this voice. God gave me this authority. 
Yes. And I just declare I'm not letting no man or woman on this earth, say nobody else, try to strip me of what God gave me. Try to strip me when Jesus laid up on that cross. Wait a minute, let's, let's even go. When he ascended and descended, took the keys from that fool. Can we talk real? Took the keys from him and gave me a set of keys, gave you a set of keys for a power yeah. authority and still said, go take dominion. You're not stripping me of my voice, shame. Mm. You're not stripping me. And this is why I needed to talk about love today. Because what these folks is doing, they come up with another trick, y'all. Oh, you shouldn't talk like that. Oh, you shouldn't fight. Devil, you are laughing in the pits of hell. We are in the a soldier in the army of the Lord. Some battles you're going to have to fight. And sometimes God Absolutely. will tell you this battle is not yours, it's his. But come on, it's time to be real, y'all. It's time to be real. Amen. I'm not going to sit God. down and allow and get beat up. Get, you know, tell me that I'm not talking in love. Baby, you don't even know what talking in God. I talk in God's love because I'm not boastful, proud, and I'm not jealous of you because you're going forward. I shout, mm -hmm. I shout harder than you when you bless. Ha! Whoo, child. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. All these old fake folks. Amen. It's time out, y'all. Be who you said you can be. I'm so happy to see you. We're going to talk about how your 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 stuff was. We haven't chance uh, to talk about your consecrated time. People of God, if you haven't consecrated all uh, at all, because a lot of people don't go seek time with God. You know, Facebook has a spirit, and you need to be delivered from it, so that you can come back with control and with power and authority. See, a lot of people That's can't right. leave Facebook for a day because they have been addicted to it. Facebook has an addiction. Uh, social media, period, is an addictive demon. Amen. And we need to, some of us need to uh, step away from Facebook. Amen. And it's a battle. It's like being addicted to anything else. Porn, drugs. I'm trying to help somebody. I went through that some years back. Get yourself over Facebook and consecrate yourself unto God. You and God. And co mm -hmm. what does consecration mean? Go spend some time with him alone. Some of us yes. need to do that. I don't care how, how he tells you to do it. Just do it. See, because it's time out. If you're, all it takes is one spirit to uh, have some control. And then they're sitting at the gate opening. Come on. Come on, y'all. We got this. And they calling in so many others. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. So, I, I I mean, yeah, consecration is essential, uh, evangelist yes. Chinese. Yes, it is. Anybody else want to join us? Anybody else want to talk? Click on the button and ask, and I'll, I'll pull you in. But I'm so proud of you. I, I, uh, Thanks, Mom. I miss you. Look, we got prayer tonight at 12 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. A lot of people don't, uh, uh, baby, you, got, you better learn how to sacrifice. <laughs> Folks got to learn how to sacrifice. Folks don't want to sacrifice your little couple of hours of sleep. And then we have church service on Sunday mornings at 11. Come on, sacrifice. Who you think sacrificing? You ain't sacrificing by yourself. 12 o'clock midnight, you will see it on our page. Amen. And other people's page. We've been, the people of God been going in. Uh, uh, Apostle Kev is his prayer line. He told, had him to start up the prayer line. Join us. Hallelujah. Join us. Glory to God. I don't have the number, but join us. You can see, hit our my, uh, apostolic and prophetic flow page and the other people's pages, and we will post it. Amen. And come with your prayers. If you mm -hmm. need prayers, if you need a breakthrough, glory to God. If you need some deliverance, come on with it. Come on. We'll take care of it. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, mm -hmm. Lawrence. Thank you so much. For All right, me. Mama. <laughs> Amen. Also, come anytime. Anytime you see us on, just, just tap right on in. You are so welcome. We thank you. And we pray that everything that you are in need of, glory to God, that you will get it. Your total deliverance, your total healing. Hallelujah, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So.
So you, oh, she left me. <laughs> Amen. So anybody else want to join in? So we're talking about love. Amen. John 13 says, so now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Glory to God. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. That you are my disciples. Yeah. Action. Love is action. Honey, would you like to come in on the video? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So in first uh Corinthians 13 it says, Love is the is the greatest. Love make you feel good. Anybody wants to love. Amen. Hallelujah. If I could speak all languages of the earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clinging symbol. And we know that. Amen. If I had the gift of prophecy, and if I, if I understood all of God's secret plans and possessed all knowledge, and if I had such faith that I could move mountains, but didn't love others, I would be nothing. So we're coming against that demon that's telling us that we're not walking in love. There's a difference in walking in authority, power and authority. Amen? Because you can walk in power and authority and still love. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, Jesus. You can walk upon this earth and love every and anybody, but it don't tell you to make you foolish. No. See, there's a difference, amen, than humility and false humility. And a lot of the body of Christ, the true body, has been beaten and brought into walking falsely in humility. It doesn't say you talk softly. Hi, how you doing? That you go in a corner. Oh, God will take care of it. No, baby, that's false. That's false humility, especially if that's not the real you. I'm not saying everybody don't talk loud. I'm not saying that everybody that is not boisterous. I'm not talking about that because a lot of people have soft voices. Amen. But be you. That's what I'm talking about. Because the enemy has tried to come against us from being ourselves. Amen. You're not, you're not to be manipulated into love. If you got the spirit of God in you, you should have love in you. Amen. Now, shall I, I pull somebody else in? It's not a choice. That's right, Cindy. Amen. It's not a choice. Amen. It's not a choice. It's not a choice. Hallelujah. Everybody that left me. Hi, how you doing, Apostle Klein? You want to join me on this? Amen. Let's see if I can get you to come in and talk about it a little bit. Let's see. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't know how it's going to work. But I just pray that everybody's day is just awesome. Amen. She might be gone. A lot of people came in and they left. Amen. So listen. Okay. I couldn't get her in. Oh, here she come. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hey. I was actually about to do a job, but I will stop for a minute. How are oh, you? God bless fantastic. you. Fantastic. How about you, woman of God? <laughs> oh my goodness. This right here has blessed me like completely. Um, I've actually had like relationships with leaders um that try to control in the name of love. Uh <laughs> manipulating, but manipulate manipulation on all levels is witchcraft. Yes. And so when the Lord brought it to my attention and I got my own personal conviction as to, you know, to the point as to where you can't follow after man to a point as to where you don't hear my voice or where you allow their voice to override my voice because then they become your God. I'm no longer your God if you listen to them over what wow. I told you. And so, you know, I have had to cut ties with leaders, those that I held at high esteem and stuff, but the fact of the matter is they weren't actually walking in the love of God. It was for their own my selfish God. gain. And, um, even to the point where they were trying to tear my relationships down with mm. other people that were true men mm. and women of God because I wasn't catering to them and their Ooh. needs. And so the, their standpoint came to, um, well, the Lord told me, you know, it was even in the name of the Lord, but God is not a double tone. He's not a shift in shadow. And so if he tell you one thing, anytime that a prophecy come to you, it shouldn't be anything new. It should be mm -hmm. confirmation. So the Lord told me, if I told you one thing, then they come with another. Who are you My listening God. to? 
you've heard, yeah, he said, you've heard a voice of lies. You know, a spirit of confusion has come upon them and it's trying to come against you. Because if he give you one confirmation, he give you one word and then, you know, they with you one day, but whenever it doesn't benefit them, it comes another way. No, that's a lie. A spirit of lies, manipulation, but it all come in the name of Jesus. But everybody say, Lord, Lord, who are they talking about? <laughs> their Lord. <laughs> who are they talking about? Yeah, there are little guys, there are big guys. But my thing is, if you are a true man or woman of God, you should be able to hear his yes. voice. And no other voice will yes. you follow. And so if they come in the name of the Lord, but it's a strange voice, and you don't understand the prophecy that they're giving you, 10 times out of 10, it's not oh, from God. God. And so if they're really men and women of God, and if they're coming in love, a God they love, then no matter if you're with them, if you agree with them, if you disagree with them, they're going to love you, they're going to receive it, and they're going to, first of all, they yes. got to love God. Because when you love God, you can love yourself. When you love yourself, That's you can right. love others. And respect that falls in levels and in dimensions. And so my thing is, if you truly love God, are you going to follow his voice, or are you going to follow another leader, or a man, mm. or a woman, just for the sake of saying that you're in connection mm -hmm. with them? Because every connection is not Come a connection. Every covenant is not from God. And so, if you love God, you're going to have to follow his voice, and he will lead you and connect you to the true men and women, sisters and yes. brothers of Christ. But you're going to have to receive them, whether they smell like you want them to smell, whether they look like you want them to look, and whether they talk like you want them to look. It's not just, you know, all of the eloquence and the eloquence and stuff, you know, not the great I am. Most of the time, it's the humble ones, the smaller ones that you need to learn from, that you can, that you can learn mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. Because love comes in all colors, shapes, yes. sizes. But the true love of God, you know, God is a God of virtue. He is a God of diversity. But you're going to have to love, not just from the outside, but from the yes. inside out. Your spirits will connect and it will bear witness. That's awesome. And that's my take. That, and, that, and that's an awesome well, take. You, you just help somebody on that. Amen. You just help somebody because that, you know, when you said the manipulation spirit and, uh, you know, through leadership. And they, they do it in the name of love. Like, hold on. No, you're not loving nobody. Yeah. You just need what I got. You you know, you manipulate it. And it, look, it, and can we just say this? We say use what you what you got. It's not always finances either. See, because people need to use That's your right. anointing. Come. It's a word that you have. <laughs> So the thing is, I can be poor in dollars, but but rich in the spirit of God. I'd rather have the spirit mm -hmm. of God mm -hmm. because that's what's going to carry you in the long run. Money come and go. People come yes. and go. But the spirit of the Lord, that's my prayer. Lord, that's don't take it. that away. That's it. I am. So I have everything in Christ. When I don't have anything else and I have Christ, I have everything. That's right. Everything. That's right. Amen. I'm so God glad. Is good. God is good. He's better than good. <laughs> Yes. I'm <laughs> grateful to God. Yes. Amen. I'm grateful for people that you can connect to that actually hear God. Mm -hmm. They can feed your spirit. You can feed their spirit. Because, I mean, that's where it all counts. That's where it all boils down to at the end yes. of the day. Amen. Amen. And that's kingdom. That's ki true kingdom connection. That don't mean you have to be up under me all day or I got to be up under you. Kingdom connection. They, and, and God's love, they will love you if you ain't talked a whole year. And all of a sudden, you got talk going on, and you know y'all talking, but there's no love lost. There's no craziness going on. That's a godly love. And then, and yeah. so many people can respect your ministry. You respect yeah. mine. Um, whoever you connected to, I'm not gonna try to disconnect anybody in the name of oh they have more members or they have more say over you than me. Oh, no, that's manipulation. Because yeah. first and foremost, we belong to God, mm. and we should bless Him for every connection that yes. He allows. And even those that he cut off, because it's for That's the greater right. good. And people get mad even when you're talking about the cutoff. Now, if if mm. if you cut somebody off, see, especially if you didn't have these manipulators and God tell you to cut them off, because he proves the tree. Any the Bible talks about in John 15, he proves the tree whenever it's not producing mm -hmm. good fruit. Come on, somebody. Yes. So when that My tree goodness. is being pruned, hey amen, it's nothing that you got to explain because the, the dead branch know it's dead. Oh, y'all. 
They, it mm -hmm. knows it's dead. Mm -hmm. It knows that it has not done what it's supposed to do or that it's doing something that it should not do. And so when they get yes. caught and they prune the tree, good God prunes the tree, so you disconnect, but they still running off at their mouth somewhere. Because, see, you got to keep on going. You can't pay no attention to that. You yeah. be obedient to God and go on and prune that tree and keep on going so that new life can come forth. Amen. My God, my God. It's just like the fig tree that bears forth the leaves, but no fruit. But everybody know that fruit come before the leaves within a uh, fig tree. From a distance, you look like one thing, but you're not producing anything. You hold on to something dead or you hold on to something out of season, it will stagnate you and it will cut you off. A dead root, a weed will kill out. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. So it doesn't matter how mighty somebody done exalted their name. There's no name above God's. Ooh. So when he say, let it go, when the season is let up, it let it go. And I'm telling from experience, I done held on to things and people pass their season. And then I look back and I'm asking, God, what's going on? Or how did I get here? Why am I still stuck? The thing is, you held yourself in bondage by holding on to what I told yes. you to release. Yes. And so you still have to release people in love and for the yes. love of God. Everything is still in love. Because if I love God, when you say move, yes. I need to move. And they should not be upset with you because God has told you to move. Amen. I, I one exactly. thing I know about most people that I'm connected to, they're very verbal. But then when you get someone that has been abused and then they don't know how to express themselves until they connect with you, the God in you. Amen. And when they start expressing mm -hmm. themselves, then they learn that, okay, this is, wow, wait a minute, I can be me. It's okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> This love is okay. real. Wait a minute. Oh, I deserve this. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. This is refreshing. But then they get afraid. And I was starting to talk about this earlier. They get afraid because they're receiving something they never received before. And so I'm talking to those that have been abused. Mm -hmm. And then they get a touch of the love of Christ through somebody else. Please come out. Because see, a lot of, you know, they talk about a lot of women that have been abused uh, in relationships in the natural, a lot of times they have a hard time yes. of breaking free. And a lot of women and men have went back to that uh, uh, relationship. Glory to God. So I want to really, if you would, pray for those that have been in abusive relationships to know that they are worthy. They are legacy worthy. And most people that have been abused, are we are looking for love in the wrong places. So, you know, we My have husband. to... we. The spirit of familiarity. Yes. yes. Familiar spirit. And so yes. they connect to other leaders. This is where I'm trying to point and get to. They're connected to other leaders that are abusive. I don't need a leader to mm -hmm. cuss me out. I don't need a my leader head. to manipulate me with my, my finances. I don't want it. it but a or lot to of, condemn you huh? to hell. <laughs> or those that condemn you to hell. Yes. Yes, and so a lot of people connect to folks, and then they go back. They may have an abusive relationship in the natural at one point in time, and spiritual-wise, they connect to kingdom, so-called kingdom people, to abuse them. And that's a lot mm -hmm. of the body, and that's how a lot of people have gotten in. These people are manipulators. They're control freaks. They, they're bullies. As uh, Yes, uh, 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 they're bullies, I mean, and they're, they, they are abusers and we have a lot of yes. that but now we know that we are legacy worthy this is what uh, we're teaching that's the word that God gave me for the new 218 we need to know mm -hmm. that we're legacy worthy that we we are the lineage of Christ Jesus all the way back to Christ amen and so if mm -hmm. you would pray for the people uh, uh, as far as those being abused they will find true love within themselves first. Amen. And I'm going to let you go. My God. Amen. 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 Father God, I, first of all, first and foremost, oh God, we come before you and we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give yes. you the honor. We give you the glory because it all belongs to you. Lord, we take none for ourselves and we lift your name, oh God, for you are highly High and lifted up, highly, Father God, exalted in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. We thank you, Father God, that you are worthy and that you are able to cover us and to keep us, oh God. We thank you, Father God, for you are the God of all comfort and the God of all peace. We thank you, Father God, for you are a healer, a deliverer, and a restorer, oh God. So right now, everyone under the sound of my voice, oh God, that is struggling with letting go, 
and that are struggling, oh God, within themselves with their yeah. identity, oh God. I pray to Father God that you'll touch their minds, touch their hearts, touch their emotions, oh God. For you are the restorer of our souls and you are the lifter of our heads in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you give beauty for ashes yes, in the God. name of Jesus. I pray to Father God that every chain that has their minds bound be broken yes, right now in the name of Jesus. Every cage that has their heart caged, oh God, release it in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for the chains that are being broken and the shackles that are being loosed in the name of Jesus. We pray to Father God, not just for loosening and not just for breaking, but Father God, that you utterly destroy everything that is holding them back in the name of Jesus, that is keeping them from propelling forward, oh God. I thank you, Father God, that you are the author and the yeah. finisher of our faith, oh God. When we plug into you, oh God, you'll continue to build us, oh God. You'll continue yes. to break those things that need to be broken. Father God, I call forth every Lazarus right now in the name of Jesus that is holding oh, forth, oh God, every grave cloth that is holding forth their destiny and that is holding them back, oh God, from the purpose yes. that you have planned them, mm. oh God, for. I thank you, Father God, that they are fearfully and wonderfully created in your yes. sight, oh God. Help them to see them as you see them, oh God. Help them to hear your voice, oh God, and hear that thing that yes. they come alive right now yes. in the yes. name yes. of Jesus. Father God, that voice that is calling them forth, let them heed to it in the yes. name of Jesus. I pray to Father God for healing and deliverance in every yes. area of their life, oh God, in their emotions, oh God, in their finances, oh God, in their health, oh God, in their relationships yes. in the name of yes. Jesus. I speak, Father God, to the generations, oh God, and the generational curses that has them bound. And I command them to lift yeah. them and let them go in the name of Jesus. Father God, infuse them with your spirit and let your spirit arise, oh God, that every enemy from their from the small voices, oh God, to the large voices, that they be scattered. Oh God, and every giant within the valley be slain right now in the name of Jesus. Be headed in the name of Jesus, oh God. Cover them with your spirit and with your blood, Heavenly Father. Restore them, oh God, and help them to pick up where they left off, oh God. Where they left their praise, oh God. Let them go back to that place and pick it up in the name of Jesus. Help them, oh God, to remember you, oh God, for you are the God of the past, the present, and the future. For you never fail and you never change, oh God. I thank you, Father God, that things for them are turning around and at this time this deliverance will be permanent, oh God. We seal it with permanence in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for the new man that is coming forth in the name of Jesus. We call them forth right now in the name of Jesus, and we say, loose them and let them go, oh God, so that they can be free, oh God, not just to be them, but to be who you called them to be, who you called them to be, who you planted them to be, who you created them to be, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Shift it in the name of Jesus. Change makers, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And let every atmosphere, oh God, be conducive, oh God, for your spirit to take place, not by spirit and not by might, oh God, but by your spirit in the name of Jesus. This and everything I pray and let it be applied to their lives, for their lives, in their lives, but for your glory, oh God. It is in Jesus' name we touch, we agree, and we say amen. 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 Thank you so amen. much for being here with me, Apostle. Praise God be bless God. you. Love you. Thanks for allowing me. Oh, Thank you. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Okay. Thank God you. bless you. Amen. Uh -huh. That was awesome. Awesome. Amen. Awesome. Hallelujah. I don't know how to disconnect. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, let me go out okay. and come back in. Okay. God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's so awesome because when she said, uh, uh, when she prayed and said, Lazarus, hallelujah, glory to God. When she said, Lazarus, amen, come forth, hallelujah. And I want to add to that prayer, uh, that part of that prayer, that God, as they go forth through their deliverance and receive everything that you are giving them and they're in need of, Father, that there will be not even a stench, hallelujah, as they come forth in Jesus' name. Listen, hi. Hey, Prophet Mallory, God bless you, man of God. I thank you for being here. Amen. Love you. We need to talk. I, I, I really need to talk with you, and we will get together. I'll let you know. Amen. I love you guys. I thank y'all so much. I think I, I think we're going to start calling this raw deal. That's what I heard the Lord say. I don't think. I heard the Lord say, call these conversations raw deal. Amen. And so, uh, hi, Avis. How are you? God bless you. Um, I, I'm glad that you guys are here this morning, and I'm going to do this as often as I can. So when you see me signing on, we're going to have some raw deal conversations. Amen? Raw deal conversations. I love you guys. Share the video because this is the first of, of many. Love you. We was talking about agape love.
today. Amen. We're going to walk in this thing. Love you too, baby. We're going to walk in this thing. We're going to walk in it real. We're not going to deny God, hallelujah, from getting the glory. We're not going to be no mushy, mush, mush fake folks upon this earth. That's enough. Christians are not fake, soft people. I'm sorry. We have power and authority, and we need to use that authority and take dominion upon the earth. Amen. So, because there are some things that need to be settled. I love you, Teresita, all the sons and daughters. Renika, love you. Hallelujah. And y'all have a great day. The rest of y'all day, I'll see you later. Thank you for being here with me, because you could have been somewhere else. God bless bless you. Ah, real deal conversation. Amen. This is Apostle Didi. Love you. Bye-bye.